Hey, hey, Richie Retro here, back with another Minis Pickups video and sort of a Tales from, um, yeah, London Anime Gaming Con. <laughs> so it's been a couple of weeks since I went, I don't know, two weekends ago? Two weekends ago, I went from Cornwall to London, to London Anime Gaming Con. It's a really good event, um, it's taken like a week to sort of recover. <laughs> Which, yeah, you know, you got you got to recover from these things. <laughs> and yeah, it was just really, it was a really good event. Um, I'm out with um, Katsu. Um, he's sort of from Retro Collect, but he was actually there sort of representing himself, re Retrograde. And it's a really good event, you know, I, lo I love like manga anime as well, they have the cosplayers, they had gaming as well, and yeah, it's just a, it's a really good event. So yeah, I went up on, I think it was Friday, yeah, I went up on Friday, um, I took some trades up with me as well. Um, I met up with one of my friends, Raman, he actually, he's from Cornwall, but he actually works, um, works in London. I met up with him in Croydon, and we went to Play Nation Games. I traded some games in. Um, there wasn't anything I sort of really needed there, so I got um, yeah Dracula Unleashed. So yeah, so I got Dracula Unleashed for the Mega CD. Never seen it before. Looks like a point and click game with obviously the FMV sort of sequence or the video motion um, that you get for the Mega CDs when it was all 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 that type of um, gameplay back then. And that was it. There wasn't much in that shop at all that I needed. Um, my trades came in a bit. It was about six pound less than I thought it would be, but you know, I took some games up there. Got got rid of my got rid of my trash really. Fucking well happy. So yeah. So then I was saying goodbye to my mate, <laughs> and I was off to off to the hotel. And um, where I'm out with Katsu, and my lip, my phone battery was so low. I'm literally thinking, oh my god, it's gonna run out and literally any second now. And he phoned me. He's like, I'm at the hotel, and I'm literally, I've just made it at the hotel. I'm downstairs, mate. My battery's about to go. But my phone battery was just fucking nearly gone. I was like, I'm just downstairs, mate. Quickly turned it off. Met up with him. We're sort of a bit far out. Sort of, we were in Ealing, I guess. I would say North London, but probably past North London. I got some random train. Fuck me, it was hot. It's like the hottest weekend ever, man. I was like sweating on the underground, sweating fucking everywhere, mate. <laughs> it was fucking, it was fucking really, it was so fucking hot. No, before I met up with Katsu, I went to um, the drafts board game calf. So I was turned up today, yeah, because he wasn't turned up to eight o'clock, and I was sort of done and dusted by about five, yeah, about five or six. So I thought I'd go to the board game calf. Just turned up. Um, Basically, just had a couple of points just on my own, just read, read a paper because I saw other paper that I didn't read on the train, just to check out, check it out. And next time I go up there with a few mates, I think we're just going to go to the ball game calf. So that was really good drafts. Um, I sort of planned my journey, went here, there, and everywhere. Also, I went to Retro Game Base. I literally missed half of, what had, half of my fucking story. Yeah, well, basically, I went to Play Nation Games, and then as going back, I went to Retro Game Base. Fuck me, it's like the most expensive shop ever. This was about, must have been about five o'clock, yeah, because it was really dead. And um, I saw some guy out of he goes, hey, you're Richie Retro. I'm like, hi, mate. <laughs> but he was with his little girl, so he didn't say he's there to chat and that. You know, so if you're watching now, you know, thanks thanks for watching, mate. So I said a quick hello to him, went inside, and yeah, it was just like, I just don't seem to be like a Morgan there. There's this one little dude at the back, just quiet, no video game music or anything going on. Hard, no one else, no one buying in there. Yeah, and it was the most expensive place, of, you know, Dreamcast with like, I don't know, something like 70 quid or something stupid like that. Even though they're sort of like, region unlocked but it was just yeah it was just like what the fuck playstation is like 30 40 quid for ps1 it's just like usa we could play usa games i think fucking hell it's the most expensive shop ever and lucky i didn't actually take my trades there so retro game base you are you are officially the shittest shop in england in united kingdom the most expensive shop so i hope you guys are watching hope you troll me as well but it is fucking shit i'm never going back there ever again <laughs> i don't advise anyone not, not to go there the guy didn't even come, he sat at the back, saw this computer, and he's like looked over, and I like, looked at him, he just like looked back at saying, he's not even going to say hello, I was like, what the fuck? The most unsociable shop ever. Yeah, and that's when I went to the board game calf, and got there about six, um, yeah, and then and then was there to about half seven. Caught the train up to, um, yeah, I caught the train up to the hotel, went out with Katsu and had just a few random beers, but I was absolutely knackered. By like nine o'clock, I wanted to go to sleep, I'm like, fuck it, I'll sleep. Yeah, so we're coming in the morning. Um, we caught a taxi to, um, I think it's the Metropolitan University in, in Islington. So yeah, and as we go in there, we went past the Arsenal Stadium. And then we sort of just went like that, like that. And then suddenly the Metropolitan like University was there. And I'm thinking, fuck me, it's right by the Arsenal Stadium. I didn't, it didn't even like, click. I was like, oh, when I was last there, I could have just went around the corner. 
took a photo of the Arsenal Stadium. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't realise how close it was. Yeah, we went there. Um, obviously, we were, we were helping help set up on video games, consoles, hooking up the TVs and that. It was just a really, really good event. Um, and we met up with um, a Gunstar Hero. So, yeah, you've seen him on the Retro Collect forums. He's also he's all Lee. He's also on like Facebook and that, and I think he's on, I think he's on YouTube or not. Yeah, but yeah, he's got like, he's got full sets of nearly of all the Sega collections. So yeah, he's got he's got mint condition like fucking video game collection. It's fucking massive. Talk to him. Yeah, so it's a, it was fucking it was brilliant. Such a good event. Um, had a few beers. <laughs> so all you did all I ever did was just stand there. Just like Ian Wall was there as well. Yeah, so we still there. Just play a few games. Um, just try and get other people involved, and then you can just go off for half an hour, burger and chips, <laughs> come back, look after them, you know, and then half an hour later, burger and chips. <laughs> and I took a video of the event as well, and in the evening, just a few beers, um, watch a bit of karaoke, I didn't, I didn't have much, you know, didn't want to didn't have much confidence to go do karaoke. <laughs> I didn't have enough beers. <laughs> but yeah, it was just such a good event. It was the same, same yeah, rinse and repeat for um, Sunday. I came back back a bit early. I was just so knackered from Bloody Friday. Like The journey up there was fucking bloody horrendous. The journey was so fucking hot on the train and everything. And yeah, so it was a really good event. Um, I also picked up like a sort of like a board game, video game theme, and it's called Boss Monster. Um, it's a really good game. This is Boss Monster 2. Um, my mate's got Boss Monster 1 and looks exactly like um, an original Nintendo sort of like cartridge. This is just basically the same. There was a limited edition one which is like gold and looks like exactly like the Legend of Zelda um, for the Nintendo NES. Um, so, so they'll copy and paste it. And basically you're a boss. Um, you have to create your own dungeon and then you basically get um, Ventures. They have to walk through the dungeon. You have to try and kill him. And if they survive, you take it like a wound. And it's a, it's a really good game. It's a really good game to sort of start, you know, it's, it's two to four players. It's a really, it's only about 30 minutes long. And it's a really good game to sort of, just to sort of get into like board games as well. So yeah, it just says, become a video game style villain, build a deadly dungeon and crush heroes into retro inspired tabletop game. So all the art cards are just like pixelated and everything. So yeah, so it's, so it's really good. Um, I know a little pickups. Um, yeah, I got home. Yeah, like I said, got home on the Sunday, went to work on Monday, and then when I came back, um, there must have been some post for me. And I remember picking up Rival Schools. It was missing a disc one, and I think it was the front or back inlay. And a retro boot disc messaged me probably months ago actually, um, about saying he had like I forgot which one was on the front inlay or back inlay, <laughs> and one disc. Basically, yeah, basically I only had one disc and either the front or back inlay, and he sent me the the other disc. With a front or back inlay. So cheers, mate. Next time I'll see you. I'll eat some beers. So yeah, so brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh yeah, at the sort of London Anime Gaming Con, people were they the youngsters, they love fighting games. They're there with a the fucking whole joysticks and everything. Like they love attacking, dead or alive. Even some of the older stuff, Soul Calibur, even some of the older older stuff they're like, oh the original Soul Calibur, they were coming along having a good bash on it. So yeah, it was just good for sort of like the newer sort of like um beat em ups beam up guys who were only about 18, 19 years old to sort of play some of the older ones uh, sort of, you know, try, try and play where it's all like the, the you know, the nowadays beat em ups are sort of like evolved from and it's, most of the games are sort of like the same really <laughs> we're just all playing one beat em up there was one guy, I was I was always well, I think we played some, was it Street Fighter collection or something and I was always like the characters from Street Fighter 2 Turbo but there was like characters from Street Fighter Alpha plus 10, X plus 2 and I was always like doing really well, and then they got pff, taps on buttons before, and then they got some random power up thing, and they just destroy me every time. I'm thinking, what the fuck? I'm like, why are you doing all these power ups? They just doing my head in. <laughs> so I never really, yeah, I never really played many Street Fighter beam ups after Street Fighter Two Turbo, really. So they were like loving it, pff, 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 their little power ups. I took out half my bar, and I think this is this ain't fighting. I'm like pff, pff, trying to be trying to kick the shit out of them. Thinking oh, I need to learn, I need to learn these fucking extra power moves. But because I was like the random character in the corner that says Street Fighter 2, I had no powers, but they had some random bar they filled up. I'm like, fuck off. Fuck off, you cheating bastards. But anyway, yeah, such a good event. Um, yeah, so I basically picked up Dracula Unleashed. Boss Monster, board game, or sort of card game. A retro boot disc, sorting me out with Rhyme Schools. Which I can't, yeah, can't win play. It's a good Capcom game. Um, I don't know why it's like multi tap one to eight players. I guess you just have like each each player could just yeah just beat him up and then 
once one person's out. So control and chuck in, you just um Yeah. Just use the controller. Just realize the back, all the back sort of like pick pick um pictures, they all they were all like Japanese. I haven't played fucking rough scores in years. Above the demo. I can't remember even actually played it in the first place. Maybe. United Rival Schools, United by Fate. Man, back in our day there was two schools that sort of rival against each other. Football, fucking cricket, rugby. We always used to have fights every time we went out of each other's towns. <laughs> every time we chatted up each other's fucking women. Always fights were 18 and 19 years old. Yeah, you're down the road in the town, the nearest town. We're having a fight. That literally was rival schools. <laughs> rival schools and rival towns. Yeah, so thanks for all the subscribers. I haven't picked up much. Um, and you saw my last video, um, I purchased some Dreamcast games and spent, you know, hundreds or so quid. And that was basically my money for, my money for car boots and pickups for the next sort of like three or four weeks. So yeah, so that's basically, that was, yeah, so I sort of overspent then. So yeah, so last month or so I haven't done any car boots. Um, I've been mainly working on Sunday to be honest. Um, with my new job, so I'm, I'm enjoying my new job, and yeah, it's really brilliant. Um, I'm liking the money, just got paid, well happy. Um, luckily, the last three weeks on Sunday, it's been raining, so super happy that it's been raining, so I'm not exactly missing out on much. Yeah, and the events going forward, it's London and TV Film Comic Con, or London Film Comic Con now, this weekend. Um, I think it's near Earl's Court, I can't remember what it's called, but it used to be at Earl's Court, but it's like the same place, but it's like next door. And I'm staying at the Premier Inn, so I'm going up on Friday again, same always, um, hopefully missing up, meeting up with Gashead. Um, a few of the guys sort of pulled out, Peter Dickinson, he sort of like pulled out, but yeah, so hopefully going to meet some YouTubers on the Saturday and Sunday. Um, I've got a weekend ticket, so it's Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but mainly I only spent, I think it was actually like five or, five or six pounds for a Friday. But it's only to pay the five or six pounds so I can go in there, get my band, so on Saturday I could just go to the front of the queue and you can walk in because last year it was like the biggest queue ever if you didn't have a ticket it took about six seven hours to get in if you didn't have like a ticket it took like one or two hours to get in so i thought if i get friday i'm gonna get my band you can just walk to the front of the queue and they show you band they'll let you in easy so it's, it's worth paying the extra five or six pound a replay event's gonna be there so obviously there's gonna be a retro gaming arcade area as well so I'm going to be there, so hopefully on Friday, I'm going to be there, hopefully about 2, it's been, I, think, I think it's only between 1 and 6 on Friday. Yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be there around 2, 2 or 3 o'clock on the Friday, Saturday, I'll probably go around about 10. Yeah, just basically gaming it, beers, check out the cosplayers, um, maybe get some um, stuff signed by um, the actors and that. So yeah, I might, oh yeah, I could take Firefly the board game. <laughs> I haven't even seen who's, who's actually fucking there actually, I haven't even seen who's actually there, so I'm about to do a bit, bit, a bit of research, so yeah, so cheers guys, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and I think I'm actually editing or rendering a video of me just walking around at the event, so cheers guys.